Hey Hoopers! In this lesson, we're going to learn the escalator, which looks like this. So this basic move is the foundation of so many other awesome tricks and variations, all the way from beginner to advanced, and I'm still constantly learning new ones and how to incorporate them into my flow. And the escalator was actually the very first off-body move that I learned very early on in my journey and it's a lot easier than it looks so I'm really excited for you guys to learn it. I actually remember the moment when I nailed it for the first time and I had been practicing it all day. I was at home. I didn't have like a video camera or a mirror or anything so I didn't have any idea what it looked like but when my husband got home from work I was like hey check out this new move I've been working on and I showed it to him and he was like, what? That's incredible. <laughs> so he videotaped it and when I watched it back, I remember having this moment when I was just like, wow, like I did that. Maybe I can actually do this whole hoop dance thing. And it was really exciting. So I'm excited for you guys to experience that as well. And so we're actually gonna be covering two variations of the escalator. And the first one looks like this. That's the easiest one. And then the second one looks like this. Okay, so for the first variation, you wanna hold your hoop in your dominant hand out to your side in the vertical plane with your hand on the top of the hoop and your palm facing forward. And a quick side note, really any hoop will work for the escalator, this variation at least. Lighter hoops will probably be just a little bit easier because you won't have to put as much force into them to get them to climb up your body. But if you're gonna start with a beginner hoop, that should be fine too. I'm using a 33 inch 3 fourths poly pro. Okay, so we got our hoop out to our side. You're going to step into the hoop with your dominant foot from the front of the hoop. So step in. Now you're going to tuck your ankle underneath the hoop. So it's just kind of trapped there. Now you're going to push the hoop in towards your belly button. And you'll notice the bottom of the hoop is hitting my opposite leg. It's in the way. So we want to lift that leg as the hoop is coming towards our body and step into the hoop. Now lift the hoop up in front of you and keep a very loose grip on the hoop because the hoop is going to be shifting inside your grip. The hoop's gonna go over your head and then out to the side. From here, you could grab it, keep it in the vertical plane and go into some fun vertical moves or you can transition into a lasso. And to do that, once you step into the hoop and you raise that arm up, spiraling the hoop off of your body and you get to this position, you're going to shift your hand so that your palm is facing the ground and then push the hoop behind you, rotating around your open L-shaped palm above your head to get into that lasso. And that's the first variation. So let me show it to you from the back. And I'll just show it to you from the sides as well. So what's awesome about this variation is you can really control the speed of the hoop, slow it down until you get down the timing of stepping through and you understand the type of grip that you need to keep on the hoop to allow it to shift inside your hand. So once you get comfortable with that first variation, you can move on to the second variation, which is where you release the hoop at the bottom and catch it at the top. And there are key, three key factors that are really important to take into account when getting down this second variation. And those are hand placement, momentum and being brave and that's a big one because what I see a lot of new hoopers do when going into this move is they get kind of freaked out by releasing the hoop as it's like spiraling up their body and coming towards their face 
and they hunch over when they go to catch the hoop, missing it completely and it will take off flying. So when going into this move, you really need to be brave, keep a nice straight, confident posture, and you guys got this. So you start in the same position with the hoop out to your dominant side. For me, that's my left side. Stepping in with your dominant foot, tucking your ankle underneath, and instead of holding onto the hoop, with your dominant hand as it's spiraling all the way up, you're going to release it and push it in towards your body. It's gonna spiral up and then you catch it at the top. So timing here is really important because you need to step into the hoop as soon as you release it so that it doesn't do that. And you also have to immediately raise your releasing arm up above your head, slightly out to the side to be ready to catch the hoop. So let's try it now together. So where momentum comes into play here is you have to make sure you put enough momentum into the hoop that it doesn't do this. And it doesn't have enough momentum to go all the way up, but you don't wanna put so much into it that it's, scary and you don't quite have enough time to catch it at the top. So kind of just play around with momentum. And this will also vary depending on the type of hoop you're using. If you're using a bigger beginner hoop, you're gonna have to put more force into the hoop to get it to climb all the way up your body, opposed to like polypro. And the second thing that I mentioned that's really important is your hand placement, because you have to learn where to move your hand up to, to be ready to catch the hoop. And you're kind of just gonna figure this out through trial and error. It varies, again, depending on the size of hoop that you're using, and you kind of just have to play around with it and let your body figure it out. So for this hoop, the catching position is right here. So what might help you figure out where to place your hand to catch it, is to first just focus on the hoop's ending contact point with your arm. So instead of trying to catch the hoop and failing a thousand times and doing that or smacking yourself in the face or whatever, um, just raise your arm immediately up in the air as soon as you release the hoop. You're not gonna catch it, it's gonna hit your arm, but watch to see where the hoop hits your arm and that is where you need to place your hand to catch it. So let's do that together. Okay, so you saw how it hit right here, right above my elbow region. So that's where I need to aim to place my hand. And there we go. Ultimately, this second variation will just take a little bit of time to build up some muscle memory and learn how to play all of those factors in together to get your escalator to work properly. The momentum, the hand placement, being brave, and timing is also pretty important. And I want to show you one more cool thing you can add to this move, and that's incorporating your opposite arm. So instead of just letting it like weirdly dangle out to your side, you can lift that arm up as you're setting up 
for your escalator to just add this nice full stretched body effect. And then when you release the hoop, just bring it down to your side. So the last variation I want to show you guys is called a half escalator or sometimes I call it a cheater escalator because really you're only doing half of the move, but it's really fun and simple. So you start in the same starting position and instead of allowing the hoop to spiral all the way up your body and catching it with the same hand that's releasing it, you're going to catch it halfway up your body with your opposite hand on your hip. So when you release the hoop and it comes into contact with your opposite hip, you're going to grab it and the hoop's momentum is going to allow it to keep rotating off of your body, going over your head, out to your side. From here, you can go into some fun fold moves or whatever you want to do. So again, in real time, into a reverse escalator, escalator, break, half escalator, fold, isolation. So that's a fun little combo if you want to experiment with working escalators into your flow. And I think that's all we're going to cover as far as the first two variations of escalators. Like I said, there are so many other amazing variations and moves and combos associated with escalators to learn. And a few of them include escalator breaks, one-handed escalator breaks, escalator jump throughs, reverse escalators, you can go from escalators into so many other fun moves. Really, the possibilities are endless. You can even do wedgies into escalators. There's all sorts of ton fun variations to look forward to learning and work into your flow. Let's see if I can think of a few more. Spinning escalator. An escalator from your opposite side. That was a reverse escalator knee break I just did, which I love in my flow. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys really love this move. Always remember to be patient, practice often, have fun, and happy hooping.